Okay, let's do the 1911 PT Taurus. Bullseye is starting to feel a little finally. These are not the uh, remanufacturers, these are some of my loads. I'm going to do uh, some spear knots and some timber. Hey everyone, JR10 Desert Gold here. Just got back from the range and evaluating the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, on the good side, there's a couple of good things. One, um, both weapons that I took to test the remanufactured ammunition that uh, Chuck over at my hollow point sent me last week this uh, Precision Delta 45, uh, 230 grain. I was pleasantly surprised. It, uh, it functioned very well, um, better than I had anticipated, and I'll, I'll get into why I say that real quick. Um, when I first received the ammunition, as I said in a previous video, I could tell that they were remanufactured before I even saw the box. And then I started taking some initial measurements, specifically in the case web area, because this is where um, Chuck was having some issues with uh, extraction. And I found that Almost all of these were, let's see if I can get you, 
This is an unfired round from them. I'm going to see if I can get this into view for you. I don't know if it's going to do it or not. Now, let me get a different angle for you. The reading on that at the case web area is 0 0.473. Um, let's take another one as an example. Let's see if I have it. Uh, and this one is coming in at 0.4. Seven three also. The outside limit for the forty five ACP at the case wave area should not exceed point four seven four. So this is right at the limit of an of the specs for the round, and they haven't even been fired yet. Now, as an example of what a normal round would look like. Let's take a couple here. Um, this is uh, one of mine. And I've got a Federal HST. And a couple of my reloads. Let's, let's see what, what these are. Um, this one is one of my reloads. I don't know if you can see it. 0.468 and another this is the another one of my reloads 0.467 and federal 0.467 so that is the normal starting point for a nice 45 ACP round and starting off with 0.474 is right at the limit of as I said, the specs, and that's going to cause some issues, especially in new weapons, as Chuck was using that day, and uh, extraction issues, because I, I brought back some of the fire rounds. I won't bore you with them, with the measurements on them, but uh, needless to say, they're at 0.475 and 0.4, up to 0.477. So once a, once in a, round is fired and it jumps from in this case from 0.474 to 0.477 uh, the actual rebate area also is going to expand and that's when you're going to get extraction issues and that's what Chuck was experiencing fortunately these weapons are older um, and there was no issues whatsoever in fact uh, I was Quite pleased with some of the, uh, once I got the feel for the ammo, I mean, there's two rounds there. I don't know how many went through the, the uh, center, but uh, a majority, almost everything that I aimed at would be a detrimental injury to an individual. Uh, even played around with some headshots. And a uh, couple headshots anyway. Tried to zero in on one of the smaller targets and it seemed to work okay. Didn't do so well there, not so well there. Anyway, that turned out pretty nice for the ammo and I was pleasantly surprised. Now for the bad and the ugly. Um, my Ruger LC9 blew up. Not really, but um, I was uh, testing some of my 
recent reloads and also firing some uh, uh, Remingtons. I think I was also firing some uh, Underwood and the end result was about the third mag the guide rod broke and uh, spring is no longer functional. It just uh, not a good day for the the Ruger. So, in conclusion, the issue with, I didn't even bother to get into analyzing powders in the in the 45 ammo because felt recoil was such that if it was over 950 feet per second, I would have been seriously surprised. So. I knew that the it, ammo was not an issue, so I mean the uh, the powder was not an issue. Anyway, um, I thank Chuck for sending me these. Gave me a little challenge to keep my mind active, and I, I am duly thankful for that. So all of you have a great day. Have fun. Be safe. Desert Gold out.